Is she recording yet? Oh, okay. Uh, I am now. Okay, go. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna loose the bolts from the uh, injector rocker okay. shaft. Yeah. From the back side, because we're doing the back injector. Yeah, yeah, we do we do back injector number four, so we need to unscrew the bolts from the back yeah. from the old four, three, five, and six. Yeah. Four, five, and six injector set. So they're really tight. We got them loose. It's a 15 millimeter socket. Sometimes I need the leverage if you don't, if you have a really short wrench. All right. What I like to do is I like to leave two in the middle, like in the middle, like the one on either side of number five, in this case, and take all the others up first, okay. because you have a lot of spring force in there, and then you take the other two up last so that the spring force is like a relieves relieves the spring gently. force. Yeah, with just the last two okay. in the middle. That's just how I like to do it. You know, everybody's different. Yeah, you can take them out with your fingers. Don't take the bolts all the way out. Just make sure they pop up all the way. No, you can, yeah, like this. Just get them to where they'll come all the way up and they're completely loose. Like this. Okay, like this? Yeah, yeah, like this. Okay. Where they'll come up. Just let them there and leave them in the holes. This one will leave. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Those do the back ones because they're harder to get to, yeah. And then we'll do the two middle ones and we'll let the relief from the spring pressure. All them completely loose. All right. There you go. Now you need to put your tool down. Wipe your hands off a little bit. With a paper towel or something. Yeah. And uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna pick that thing up. It's quite heavy, and you're gonna put it on our little table over there where our clean area is. And what you're gonna what you what you really need to watch out for when you pick this thing up, it's not gonna fall apart or anything. But the rocker shaft itself, because the bolts are sticking up out of it like this, you don't want to grab it and turn it, and then the bolts fall out. And then once the bolts fall out. All these little rings and the rocker and everything will fall off the can fall off the end of it. That's why you leave the bolts empty so that it, it just keeps everything in place. So when you pick it up, just make sure the rocker shaft is you know you're holding it to where the, the bolts you know yeah it doesn't, the shaft steady, itself kind of. doesn't get twisted and the bolts fall out. Yeah. So go ahead and pick it up. It's quite heavy, and we'll put it on our table over there under uh, where it goes on our table over there. So it's quite heavy. So be very careful with it. It is yep. heavy. That's why I got the towel so you can set it on that temporarily. You need to to climb down okay. and be careful and then set it on the table over there. It's a little thing, you know. Rolling? Rolling. Okay. Uh, the table is made like this. It's uh, kind of designed like this with this paper towels nicely because we're taking, uh, we're taking the uh, injector shaft, inje injector shaft Make sure from the, the shaft is upright. There you go. Yeah, there you go. The shaft should be like that, so the bolts don't fall off. Or even like this. This is fine. Okay, so we kind of split it in four parts. This is the the, the valve parts. This is for the four front three engines. This is for three inject uh, three cylinders. This is from the back three cylinders. Injector side for uh, front three cylinders. Injector side for the uh, rear three cylinders. So we took the injector side from the rear three cylinders. So we put it right here. So. We make it accordingly, like, like this is an engine. So we put it right here and we make it make it in a good water. Now we're taking the valve side. Uh, we're taking the same procedure we did with the inj injector side. Right. So, yeah. The valve, um, the rocker levers and rocker shaft for the valves. You need your pipe? All right, got this. I need it. Got a 
Yep, that's why you don't want to turn that when you pick it up. There are many details. Washers and... As long as you keep that rocker shaft facing straight up and down when you pick it all up, it'll it'll all swing around, you know, the rod or the rockers will. Yep. But they won't come off. They won't go out of place. It's uh, not a problem at all. Just keep the rocker shaft where the bolts are facing straight up when you're handling it. That's all. All the bolts are loose. They'll pop. Yeah. All right. And you then just. Mm-hmm. You got it. Come on in where he's at. Oh boy. Again. It's heavy too. And it's, it's heavy. And it's more complicated to get off than. Uh, I, I think so because there's many, a lot of parts here. Just pull it up. It'll be. It'll. It'll come. Just pull it on up. I got it. Don't worry about anything falling or. The, some of the cross heads some sometimes fall off. That's no big deal. Just take it up the way it is. Grab it by the shaft. Yeah, I'll take it on yeah. the side and then pin it close back in. The there you go. Get it up on out of there. Set it right here if you have to to reposition yourself. Yeah, set it over there and then reposition yourself if you need to. There you go. Just hold that shaft upright, upright, and nothing will fall off. There you go. Comes right off. Let me show that, go around there and show him. Mm -hmm. Show that. Now here you have the valve side. Mm -hmm. The bolts are in place. We put it very gently, very careful. So this is it. We go do the next step. Yep. Okay. All right, now we're gonna remove the cross heads. These are the cross heads here. Uh, if you're gonna do the front side and the back side, uh, it's good to remember that these cross heads are facing this way for the front three cylinders. And these cross heads are facing this way for the back three cylinders. The engine, uh, the exhaust side is here and it has a hole in it. And also there's a stem for the engine brake. That's an engine brake stem, you see that? So we'll pull that off, we'll pull that off. Uh, whatever you do, do not accidentally put them back together uh, the wrong way. Don't, acci don't accidentally put it like this. That's wrong because it, uh, it will lean and it will, it will cause damage to the engine. So you need to put it like this, only like this. And then on the front three, they'll be like this. If you're not sure, uh, when you go to take this apart, if you want to take this apart, if you're not sure which way it goes, then get your cell phone and uh, take a picture with your cell phone. You know, take a, you know, get your cell phone and take a picture. That way you have a picture of how it goes back together. It's, you know, it's what these modern cell phones are for, right? New yeah. cell phones, new technology. But uh, I know how they go, so I'm not going to take a picture. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove all the cross heads. Uh, you know, I can remove them all if I want to, if I'm going to take all the injectors. But we're just going to do number four, and this is cylinder number four. One, two, three, four. All we need is injector number four, so we're just going to take it off for number four for now. So we'll just take yeah, that off. A, use a clean bucket or something. With yeah, and you need towel. a clean bucket with a paper towel. And when we put this back together, these intake uh, rockers, tend, or cross heads, tend to fall off. They tend to stick and they fall off. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these like this and get those out of the way so that uh, I don't lose them. Uh, and if you do lose one, you know, if it falls down in here, just grab it with a pair of needle nose or something and pick it up. No big deal. I have a question, Ross. Does it, does it matter uh, that you mess? For example, you put, you take this, this cross head from here and take this cross head from here and you switch them. It, it doesn't you know, matter because doesn't you're... Matter. We're, get this camera flipped around. Uh -huh. There you go. There we go. Hey, it's Ross. <laughs> the reason why it doesn't matter on these cross heads uh, you know, which one is four, which one is five, which one is six, is because we're going to run the entire overhead for the truck, you know, for the whole overhead. Yeah. And since we're going to run the overhead, uh, it'll correct for any differences between these. So that's why I don't really bother with it, you know, marking them one, two, three, and all this, because we're going to run the overhead for the entire engine, and it's going to compensate for any differences they have. So yeah. that's, uh, you know, that's just 
keep that in mind. You know, you're gonna run the entire overhead. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to worry about. But you if know, someone, if if someone is very picky you, and yeah, wants to put them exactly as they was, that's that's a good point too. Yeah, you can do that if you want. Yeah, you to. It's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah. But uh, I've done it a whole bunch of times, and I've never had a reason or seen a reason to do it. I've mic'd them and compared them. And it's it's negligible. You know, just compensating it with running the overheads, overhead, perfect. So. Yeah. All right. Cut.